Hello and welcome to this video by Process Parameters, the UK distributor for Optris. In this video I will show you how to create, store and recall screen layouts within the PI Connect software supplied with your Optris thermal imaging camera. Layouts are an important feature of PI Connect that enable you to quickly and easily create useful layouts that present the data that you need for a given application. The layout consists of more than just the visual elements on the screen. A layout will also include many other functions such as configured temperature range for your camera, emissivity settings and other camera hardware settings, alarm settings, all measuring area settings, color palettes and display scaling settings and any tri image triggering settings that you may be using. There are no limitations in the number of layouts you can create. They are stored on your computer for recall at a later date and make it easy to reconfigure to a previous layout. This would be useful in applications where different sized parts are manufactured on the same machine and a different layout can be created for each part. PI Connect is provided with many sample layouts that get you started with using the software and give an idea of what is possible. When you first start PI Connect, you are presented with the standard layout. The standard layout is an excellent starting point and can easily be returned to at any point. The standard layout and the sample layout are accessed through the tools menu and hovering your mouse over the layouts menu item. A pop-up menu should appear. Clicking on this drop-down shows you the list of currently stored layouts and you can load these as you wish. So select the name, click load layout and the screen changes to the pre-saved layout. You will notice that in each case the video being played has not changed, purely the way the data is presented on the screen. Now if we want to return to where we started, we simply choose standard layout from the layouts pop-up. So how do you create your own layout? You will have seen in other videos how to create measuring areas, configure alarm settings and so on. I will not repeat that here so I will now customize my layout and will come back very shortly to explain the next steps. Now I have reconfigured the software to present the data that I need in this particular case. I have added measuring areas, added the temperature time diagram, removed the temperature profiles and histogram windows, changed the color palette, and added a reference bar on the image itself. I now want to store this layout for future use. Quite simply, again select the Tools menu and the Layout pop-up, but this time in the drop-down I need to overtype a new name for my layout. and then select Save Layout. If I now look in the drop-down list, the layout is saved and added to the list for future recall. To show that this has worked, I will now select Standard Layout, which takes us back to our starting point. I can then select our new layout from the drop-down and load it and all the settings are as I configured a moment ago.
The layout that we use, whether saved or not, is also stored as part of a video recording or a snapshot file. So if we were to start a new recording with our layout, this would form part of the video file and would always be recorded in future. It is of course possible to temporarily adjust the layout if you wish when viewing a video. The layout and the stored video remain unaffected. If you want to make a permanent change to the layout for a video recording or a snapshot image, then you can assign the layout currently on the screen to the video or snapshot that is currently displayed. You simply use the Edit menu and then select Assign Layout to Current File. This will replace the existing layout with a new one for recall in future. Finally, if you create a layout on one computer, you can easily export the layout for use on other machines by using the facility in the Tools Layout menu. The layout is stored to a USB stick or similar and then imported on the other machine through PI Connect making it available for use there as well. I hope this video has been useful. If you have any questions not covered here then please do not hesitate to contact us. Details will be shown at the end. Thank you for watching.